Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Mind. My name is Asun Khurram and in this channel I teach programming skills in Python, MATLAB and R programming. I also teach theoretical concept as well as practical programming skills in data science, data analysis. So I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button. So I have been producing a series of tutorial videos on marketing analytics where I teach you about the statistical uh, aspect of uh, uh, where we actually deal with the marketing and a data set and apply statistical concept in order to observe that data. Then I teach you about how we can actually generate some stunning visualization with the help of Python and its library uh, matplotlib and seaborn. So to, in today's tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction of advanced data visualization for marketing analytics. And then I'm specifically going to teach you how we can create this stunning visualization displayed on our window here. Uh, here, the data is being distributed by marketing channels and age groups. So this is exactly what I'm going to teach you, how you can take a data set, uh, segment that data based on the age groups and using that data, you are able to create a sun press plot in MATLAB, uh, Python. So that being said, let's move on to our Jupyter Notebook environment. So the libraries we are going to use will be Plotly and Pandas. And uh, first of all, we are going to import our data frame. For this purpose, I have initialized a variable named Excel file and equate its value to the file name, which is currently present in our directory. Now I'm using uh, pandas function read underscore CSV and I'm passing input argument the file name which has been defined earlier. After uh, importing the data set uh, into variable name data, I can finally visualize first few row of the data by using this uh, method uh, data dot head function. Let me just run this code for you. Now I will briefly go over the data set. As you can see, it has unique customer IDs. It has the gender of uh, customers, whether that customer was male or female. It was it has also given us the date of birth and the geographical location of that customer. And we have like uh, whether the customer did uh, opted to be allowed to be contacted or they opted not to be contacted by the business. Then we have registration date and then we have marketing channel type, which is important. Again, uh, it defines like how the customer was acquired through which marketing effort, whether the customer was acquired through organic search, uh, it was acquired through advertising for paid search or affiliates marketing. Then we have some other columns as well. We have first order profit, we have subsequent order profit and uh, order count as well. And uh, the total value of all promotions, like how much the company discounted to customer in order to convert that customer into a repeated buyer. The, for example, the company gave the customer 20% discount, 30% discount. And then finally we have age group and we have total profit as well. Now you are briefly understand what is our data set. Now our next challenge is to actually label uh, our customer in a range, okay? For example, if this customer in the first row is has an age of 39, we have a age group that is belongs to 35 to uh, 40. So this customer, this uh, first row customer, would be labeled as an age group between uh, 35 to 40. So this is exactly what we are going to do with the help of Pandas library. So the first of all, we are going to create bins. Bins will actually identify or define the ranges of your age group, okay? For example, if you want to set the range of uh, age group, something like zero to 20, uh, then uh, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 60, and finally 60 to 100. So bins define the uh, intervals or the range of uh, age groups. Once you define that, now you have to label those age group as well, okay? So for those uh, groups or for those customers that lie in the age of 0 to 20, they must be labeled as uh, 0 to 20. So this is where the labels, which is a list of string, comes in handy okay so we have bins we have defined our labels for the different age groups from 0 to 20 up to 61 plus which means that these customers are above 61 okay 
Now, by using this Python statement, we are actually able to create a column in our current data frame, which is called age group. Okay, so here we are actually defining a new column called age group, and we are assigning it value by the use of this Python statement. And what kind of values we are assigning it to it? We are actually assigning this label values to it based on what the value is present in the column age. So that is exactly what we are doing. We are using Panda library function called cut, pd.cut, and we are passing three, four input argument. The first input argument is actually the age column based on which we are going to assign the labels. And the second input argument is the bin, which is again the range of intervals uh, for your ages. And we have labels is equal to labels. So this is basically what we will be assigned to this age column based on what value is present in this column age. And finally, we set it right is equal to false, which is quite a little bit uh, tricky to understand, but it's quite easy to think of. Right is equal to false means that each bin interval is closed on the left side and open on the right side. So ages in the range of 20 to 30 will include 20, but it will not exclude, it will not include 30, it will exclude 30. For example, and let me give you another example. Uh, for example, let's say ages in the range of uh, uh, 40 to 60 will include uh, 40 and but it will not include 60. So that's what it's mean by false right is equal to false. That being said, let me just run this code for you. And let us briefly look at our data frame again. Now you can see that when I uh, go towards the very left, now we have an additional column which is called age group and it has assigned the labels to the person based on its specific value. For example, this here 39 actually lies in the age group of 31 to 40. This age uh, group 28 lies in the age group 21 to uh, 30. So that's how you can actually create bins or categorize age uh, customer based on their age group. That being said, let's move on and uh, create another data frame, which is called age channel count. And what we are actually doing here we are using pandas function group by and we are grouping the data based on two columns marketing channel type and age group and uh, we based on that we are actually counting the values of occurrences in that specific age groups for example uh, let's say uh, we have like a column name organic search and it has multiple values of organic search and for that space multiple values of organic search we have different kind of age group so it will count those values and uh, it will make a data frame out of that so this is exactly what we are doing here we are first of all initializing a new variable name for our data frame which is called age channel counts when we are creating its value and using pandas function group by then we are grouping the data based on two columns marketing channel type and age group here and by using dot size round brackets we are actually counting the occurrences of uh, values within those specific categorical data set. And finally, we are using reset index that will actually convert that calculated count values back to a data frame. And here the data frame will be named as count. So this is used for renaming the column. So by doing that, we will have a data frame that will have a three columns in it. The first column will be the marketing channel type. The second column will be the age group and the last column will be the count, which are the occurrences of uh, specific categorical data. So let me just run this block of code for you. Now you can see that we have uh, successfully generated our data for our sun bus pro where we have marketing channel type age group and as well as count. Now that being said, let's move on and actually jump towards plotting uh, the data frame uh, in Python uh, with the help of library Plotly. So uh, we are going to plot Sun plus plot, which provides a clear visualization representation of how customers are acquired through different marketing channel type segment by age group. A type of visualization, so Sun plus plot are a type of visualization that shows a hierarchical data through a circular layout. Uh, the outer ring represents the age group 
while the inner segment represents the marketing channel type. The color and the size of each section corresponds to the count of customer acquired. So basically what it means that uh, we will be able to distinguish the account values based on the color. So a higher uh, value will correspond to green, a lower value will correspond to yellow. So that's where, by doing that, we can actually distinguish between uh, the count or number of occurrences for each marketing channel type and a, their age group. So using a sunburst plot enables marketers to quickly grasp the relationship between marketing channel and age group, facilitating the targeting strategies for each specific audience. For example, if a particular marketing channel is highly effective for a younger demographic, marketing efforts can be intensified in that area to make a maximize customer acquisition. So what do we mean by customer acquisition? Like uh, acquiring that customer, uh, whatever the audience we have in and convert that audience into a paying customer. So that being said, let us move on and actually discuss about the code that will actually generate our Sunburst plot. This is the Sunburst plot and we are going to generate it by using this block of Python code here. So first of all, we are going to import two uh, modules the first one is import plotly.express as px it will help us visualize the it will help us plot the uh, plots in plotly then we have import plotly.io as pio it will help us set the setting of display output that being said we are passing another uh, by writing another python statement here pio.renders.default is equal to browser so what it does actually mean that instead of actually displaying the our plot in uh, jupyter notebook environment we are actually plotting it in a separate browser in a separate tab so whenever i run this code a new tab will open and we will have a separate uh, visualization to plot c so that's what it means by uh, renders.default is equal to browsers. After doing that, so here we are using our main function sunbust of plotly library. So here fig is equal to px.sunbust. And we are passing a number of input arguments. So the first input argument to this function here, sunbust, is actually the, our data frame, which is our source of data frame where the data will be taken. And uh, obviously it will have the column name. So uh, onwards to after defining this parameter, we will be able to use the column specific column names to assign values. So we first input argument is actually the data frame. The second input argument is the path. Here we said have path is equal to a list of column names of our data frame is channel count. We have marketing channel type, we have age group, okay? Here, uh, hierarchy, the order which you define these uh, values of the column name is important because it specifies the hierarchy of levels of the sun bust. This chart will show marketing channel type as the outer level and age group as the inner level. Then we set values equal to count, which sets the size of each slice. So basically, it means that whatever marketing channel has a higher portion of count will be displayed, will take a larger amount of slice as compared to a marketing channel that has a less amount of occurrences or counts column. So set the size of each size slice based on a count column showing how many customers are each are there in each group. Then we are setting the title of the plot, which is like customer acquisition by marketing channel and age group. Then we are also setting color is equal to count. Here colors, it colors the slices according to the count values. So more populated segments will have a different color as compared to less populated segments. Finally, we are setting color underscore continuous underscore scale is equal to RDYLGL. RD for red, YL for yellow, GL for green. It uses the red, yellow, green color scale. So basically our plot will play, use the red, yellow, green color scale with lower counts appearing more red and higher counts appearing more green for easy visualization. So that being said, finally we'll use this function show that will actually render the plot in a uh, different tab. As you know that we have actually used browser uh, in this Python statement instead of uh, displaying it in the uh, Jupyter Notebook environment. Let me just run this code for you. Now you can see that uh, this is a Sunbus plot and here it shows a slice 
of direct channel it shows the size of organic channels and now you can see that the page uh, size of paid search is quite less as compared to direct and organic search so which can be easily visualized with the help of this pie chart or this sunburst chart and we can also distinguish based on the colors okay and uh, we see that the values that are quite less are paired to be red and the values that are quite more are appeared to be green. So from this data visualization, we can see that the customers that are acquired through direct channel uh, and out of that direct channel, the people are in the range of 21 to 30 are, have more occurrences for direct channel, okay? And then we have paid search and then we have affiliate, affiliate marketing. And finally, we have like uh, paid social channel. OK, so for paid search for means that you are using ad, uh, advertising on Google. Here, paid social, you are running ads on Facebook, Instagram and so on, which has the least amount of uh, portion as compared to the other marketing channel types. So by doing that, uh, you are able easily able to visualize your data frame uh, and data. Uh, with the help of Sun Plus Power. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, you are able to learn some interesting visualization in Python. If you have any questions regarding today's tutorial or marketing analytics in general, feel free to write down your comments. I will be happy to help you out. Uh, so in the upcoming video, I will teach you how to plot a radial bar chart. Uh, with the, again, which is one of, again, an interesting plot to visualize. Thank you for joining me and I will catch you soon in the next video.